Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Charlottesville High School versus Clover Hill High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brain, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Black Knights of Charlottesville High School, coached by Alan Robinson and Abigail Lund. Charlottesville High School is a public school welcoming students in grades 9 through 12. With a student population of approximately 1,200, the school represents an equity-focused community committed to providing the skills and knowledge needed for lifelong learning and personal fulfillment. Also with us today, the Cavaliers of Clover Hill High School, coached by Vince Eichley. Clover Hill High School is in Midlothian and part of the Chesterfield County Public School District. For nearly 30 years, it's been home to the Mathematics and Science High School at Clover Hill. The student body consists of about 1,800 students in grades 9 through 12. A big welcome to all of our students and great to have them here with us to play Battle of the Brains. Our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players who want to answer will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, let's start the first toss-up round. Based in Norfolk, Virginia, PETA is an animal rights organization. What do the letters P-E-T-A stand for, Graham? People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Correct. Manco Capac is the legendary founder of this South American empire whose final ruler, Atahualpa, was captured by Francisco Pizarro in 1532. Graham? The Inca. That is correct, the Incan Empire. Aaron Rodgers was the longtime quarterback. Green Bay Packers. That is correct. Which NFL team from Wisconsin? Name the type of radiation particle that is unable to penetrate the skin, but if inhaled or swallowed, can trigger changes at the cellular level, which will most likely cause cancer. <coughs> Celia. Alpha particle. Correct. In 1984, this African country got its present name, which means land of honest men. Name this country with its capital at Ouagadougou. Burkina Faso. That is correct. What does the Japanese word kamikaze translate to? Graham. Divine wind. In English, correct. Just Say No was an anti-drug campaign introduced by what former U.S. First Lady? Graham. Nancy Reagan. Correct. What is the term for any group of slender, flexible, non-flagellated, spiral-shaped bacteria, some of which cause disease, some free living, and others parasitic? And those are called spirochetes. He ruled for nearly two decades, from 161 to 180 AD. His reign was marked by wars in Asia and what is now known as Germany. Name this man considered the last of the five good emperors. Graham. Marcus Aurelius. Correct. Emperors of Rome. The ancient Roman goddess of love and beauty, the counterpart of Diva. Venus. That is correct. The counterpart to the Greek Aphrodite. Published in 1741, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God is a sermon by which colonial Christian theologian? Graham. Cotton Mather. That is incorrect. Clover Hill. John? Martin Luther. Actually, it's Jonathan Edwards. Made by General Mills, which breakfast cereal is magically delicious? John. Lucky Charms. Correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Here at the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke, Virginia, Traveling from Baltimore to Ellicott City in 1833, who was the first sitting U.S. president to be a train passenger? Graham. Martin Van Buren. That is incorrect. Clover Hill. Hey, Ram. Andrew Jackson. That is correct. Cartographer Martin Walsemuller coined this term in 1507 when he used it to name a newly discovered continent in honor of a transatlantic explorer whose last name, Graham. America. That is correct, after Amerigo Vespucci. In college basketball, how many fouls can a player commit before fouling out of the game? Linwood. Five. Correct. Which pirate captained the ship Queen Anne's Revenge? 
Graham. Blackbeard. Correct. In the game Monopoly, what orange property shares its color with St. James Place and New York Avenue? Celia. St. Charles Place. That is incorrect. Clover Hill. That would be Tennessee Avenue. Our next question, spell Tennessee. Diva. T-E-N-N-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. That is incorrect. Charlottesville, Madeline. T-E-N-N-E-S-S-E-E. -E -S -S -E -E. That is correct. You missed the last one, Diva. All right, that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far, but we got a lot more questions to come. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Charlottesville High School with 120 points. Our team from Clover Hill High School with 30 points. And we'll get back to our questions and our match just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to today's players. Let's start with our team from Charlottesville High School. The Black Knights are coached by Alan Robinson and Abigail Lund. First up is Linwood Bailey. Linwood is a junior who loves strategy games. It says he's a video game nerd and he enjoys math and plans to study either computer science or engineering. Next up is Madeline Jones, who is a senior, acts and does tech crew for theater, is a musician, plays electric and acoustic guitar, and wants to go into journalism. Our team captain is Graham Selman, who is a senior. He's an ultimate Frisbee player, enjoys watching movies, and is a San Francisco 49ers fan and plans to study abroad. And wrapping up our team is Celia DeVoe, who is a junior. Celia loves to read. She's left-handed, and she says in her heels, she's six foot two. I asked her how tall she was without her heels, five foot ten. All right, that is our team from Charlottesville High School. Now let's meet our team from Clover Hill High School. The Cavaliers are coached by Vince Eichley. First up is Karem Altunashuk, who is a senior. He enjoys running and playing chess, plans to study computer science at Duke University. Our team captain is Deba Lelas, who is a senior, enjoys reading and collecting Criterion DVDs. Sarah Cretion is a senior, is a musician, likes to play the piano, enjoys reading, astronomy, physics, biology, and chemistry. And wrapping up our team is Sean Self, who is a senior, enjoys rock climbing, high jumping, and plans to study business management and hopes to become an entrepreneur and start a business of his own one day. That's our team from Clover Hill High School. And it's great to have all of the students here with us today playing Battle of the Brains. And now they're going to take on our category round where each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20 point bonus. Teams here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are American Folklore, U.S. Presidents, and Punctuation and Typographical Symbols. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. By the rules of the game, the high score at this point gets the first choice of category. That is our team from Charlottesville High School. Graham, quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you would like to play. We'll do U.S. presidents. All right. Identify the U.S. president in office at the time of the following clues. The first is during the War of 1812. Madison. Correct. Spanish-American War in 1898. McKinley. Correct. Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1980. Reagan. Jimmy Carter. Bombing of Hiroshima in 1945. Franklin Roosevelt. Harry Truman. Kent State shootings in 1970. Nixon. Correct. World War I in 1914. Wilson. Correct. Great Recession of 2008. Bush. More specific? Uh, Bush Jr. That's correct. Breakout of COVID 2019. Trump. Correct. Cuban Missile Crisis 1962. Kennedy. Correct. And finally, U.S. Civil War in 1861. Lincoln. That is correct. Good job on that. You know those off the top of your head. Good for you. All right, Clover Hill, American Folklore or Punctuation and Typographical Symptoms. Deepa, talk it over with your team. Let me know what you'd like to play. 
Uh, punctuation and topographical symbols. All right, which of the following, which punctuation mark or typographical symbol is represented by each of the following? The first is an and sign. Ampere? It's called an ampersand. Appears in the name of the band in sync. Apostrophe? It's an asterisk or a star. Indicates a factorial in math. Exclamation point? Correct. Separates octets in an IP address. Period? Correct. Introduces a series. Sigma? Repeat. Epsilon? It would be a colon. Appears over the N in the word Espanol. An accent? It would be a tilde. Indicates a pause greater than a comma but less than a period. Semicolon? Correct. Sounds like a diamond weight. That would be a carrot. And we won't get to the last two clues. All right, good job on the category round by our teams. Up next, another toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. We'll be right back. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the category round on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Charlottesville High School with 160 points. Our team from Clover Hill High School with 45 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And just a reminder for our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. There is no conferring in the toss-up rounds. Again, here we go. The reverse form is used to purify water, while the forward form is used to filter the blood and kidney dialysis. Name this process in which a solvent, but not a solute, passes through a semi-permeable membrane. Sarah. Sarah. Filtration. That is incorrect. Charlottesville? Madeline? Osmosis. That is correct. What cell phone operating system shares a similar name used to describe BB-8 and R2-T2? T R2 John? Uh, Android. That is correct, or droid in their case. 1847 was a year to remember for the Bronte sisters, the publication of Emily's Wuthering Heights, Anne's Agnes Grey, and what novel by Charlotte? Eva. Jane Eyre. Correct. In physics, the conservation of this quantity stems from the fact that no force depends on absolute position in space. Name this quantity symbolized P. Eva. Momentum. Correct. The destruction resulting from the impact crater Chicxulub off Yucatan is believed to have led to the extinction of Graham. The dinosaurs. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is the slope of the line joining point A, 9, 3, and point B, negative 9, negative 3? Eva. Um, one third. That is correct. Cantonese, Sichuan, and Hunan are types of cuisine from what country? Eva. China. Correct. What award is given annually to the best pitchers in Major League Baseball? Graham. The Cy Young Award. Correct. The collapse of an 18-month personal relationship turned this British artist's album, 21, into an international bestseller. Madeline. Adele. Correct. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here's another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. The former Central National Bank and Central Fidelity Bank was Richmond's tallest building for approximately 40 years. It's an example, along with New York City's Empire State Building and Chrysler Building, of what early 20th century architectural and decorative style? Madeline. Art Deco. That is correct. What is the term for the measure of the heat content of fuel or energy sources? Temperature. 
That is incorrect, Clover Hill. Jules? That is also incorrect. It would be the British Thermal Unit, or BTUs. Which North African kingdom, now in modern-day Tunisia, fought in the Punic Wars? Eva. Carthage. Correct. The definition of perseverance is steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty in achieving success. Spell perseverance. Madeline. P-E-R-S-E-V-E-R-A-N-C-E. -E -E -E. That is correct. Legends Never Die is the posthumous release by what rap artist? That is incorrect. Clover Hill? Snoop Dogg. Don't forget to buzz in before giving your answer. Sean? <laughs> Snoop Dogg. That is an incorrect answer. The answer is Juice World. During the mid-19th century, William Lloyd Garrison was the crusading northern abolitionist publisher of what weekly anti-slavery diva? Liberation? The Liberator? That is... The, she said liberation first, then liberator. Judges will accept the answer. That is correct. It was an anti-slavery newspaper. What type of society did Ken want to implement in the 2023... Patriarchal. Brand? That is correct. That buzzer is the end of our toss-up round. One more to go, and just ahead, we'll double the point value for our team. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner and going on to the next round here in Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our Charlottesville team with 230 points, our Clover Hill High School team with 115 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, and so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There's no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. Grab your pencil and paper for this one and find three consecutive integers whose sum is equal to 360. <coughs> And those numbers would be 119, 120, and 121. Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo are on exhibit in what famous Paris museum? Madeline. The Louvre. Correct. For what former U.S. Attorney General was the Washington Commander's stadium named before former owner Dan Snyder? Graham. Robert Kennedy. That is correct. Built a new stadium and named it FedEx Field, Robert Francis Kennedy. What is the term for the Japanese art form that translates as folding paper? Deb Deba. Origami. Correct. As revealed in innumerable horror films, as well as the Christian book of Revelation, what is the number of the beast? Graham. 666. Correct. The Hindu trinity are Brahma, Shiva, and who? Graham. Yishnu. Repeat for me, please. Yishnu. That is incorrect. Clover Hill. It would be Vishnu with a V. What is mainland Africa's smallest nation? Burundi. That is incorrect. Clover Hill? Karen? Swaziland? It's actually Gambia. John Locke is known as the father of which political term or ideology that advocates Deba? Capitalism. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Charlottesville. Ideology that advocates civil liberties, economic freedom, and limited government under the rule of law. Graham. Liberalism. I need you to be more specific. Libertarianism. It's actually classical liberalism. The captain can't hear the bells ringing or see the bouquets and wreaths because he has fallen cold and dead on the deck. In which poem by Walt Whitman does this occur? Eva. Oh, captain, my captain. Correct. Which of the following scales measure the relative hotness of a pepper? Beaufort, Mose, Graham. Scoville. That is correct. 
when he knocked 715 out of Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in April of 1974, he broke one of Major League Baseball's most celebrated records. Name this Hall of Famer. Who Graham. Aaron. Hank Aaron is career. Hank Aaron is correct. He ended his career with 755 home runs. Which world language has the most native speakers? Celia. Mandarin Chinese. Correct. What name is given to the hand, foot, and wrist wounds that Jesus Christ suffered on the cross? Diva. Stigmatism. That is incorrect. Charlottesville. Madeline. Laceration. They actually call it stigmata. This was one of the major scandals that occurred during the administration of Warren G. Harding. What? Diva. Teapot dome. That is correct. This bone is only one involved in pivot, hinge, and ball and socket joints. Name this long bone of the upper arm that meets the radius and ulna at the elbow. Eva. Emer. Repeat for me. Emer. That is incorrect. Charlottesville. Graham. Fibula. It's the humerus. Respectively, the longest and the shortest days of the year occur during what two events? Solstice. Madeline. Solstice. I need you to be more specific. Winter and spring solstice. That is incorrect. Clover Hill? Eva? The summer and winter solstice. That is correct. In H.G. Wells' novel, The War of the Worlds, Earth is invaded by creatures. Ram. Mars. Correct. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While well, our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome St. Christopher's School versus Dinwiddie High School. And now here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition. The final score for our team from Clover Hill High School, 175 points. A great job today by Sean, Sarah, Deba, and Karem. And our winners today with a final score of 370 po points, our team from Charlottesville High School. Great job today and congratulations to Linwood, Madeline, Graham and Celia. And we will see you in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains and we'll see you back here next week. Great match teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains Presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.